Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a massive tutorial on ADSR sounds. So this video is going to be a tip and trick style video, but it's a cool tip and trick that I have not shared with you guys yet, and I personally use it all the time. So it's centered around using one of the effects in the main effects section over here to widen a sound. And what this does, this, this tip or trick or this technique, it's something that we've probably heard about outside of a synthesizer. Uh, there's an instance in a lot of mixes, a lot of different genres of music where you have a mono source or even a stereo source that you want to pan out left and right. But when you do that, the ear has a hard time differentiating between the left and right signals. So a common trick to kind of reduce that effect of the ear hearing it as one signal kind of in the middle is to offset one of those signals with delay. Well, you, well Massive has two different delay types. And they have the, the sync delay, which would actually be like a synced delay where you have a tail that you, you can choose rhythmic values like quarter notes, eighth notes, all that sort of stuff. We've seen that. I use that all the time in tutorials. It's great for leads, plucks, pads, all that. Well, there's a second delay type, which is delay. And in that type, what you can do is you can actually create a really nice doubling effect with the sound. Now, you might be wondering, why would you use this as opposed to some other methods of doubling a sound or perceived methods of doubling a sound inside of Massive? And there's a few good reasons for doing it. So this first patch I have pulled up right now is a bass sound. Okay, so let's go to the voicing tab. I'm already there, but you'll notice that this voice, this uh, sound is just one voice of unison. There's only one unisono voice. So I couldn't use the pan position with the sound if I wanted to. And if I give it more voices of unison, it's going to change the sound a little bit. Right? That's a whole different feeling than this. Like let's say I'm trying to go for that vintage retro, just a, a very kind of a narrow but focused bass. I don't want a lot of voices of unison, but I may want the sound to be a little bit wider. So that kind of, this, this trick where you can use the pan position to widen your sounds isn't going to work. Now, that's where this delay can come in. If I turn the delay on and I have the time left and the time right down quite low, I don't have the uh, dry wet up very high. So let me change this macro name to delay real quick. All right, so I don't have it up very high. But now the sound is wider. It actually has a stereo image. So I'm going to turn the delay off, and we're going to look at this in Logic's multimeter over here. So delay off sound is straight up and down it's not up here mono sound because this is a stereo instance of massive but not a lot of stereo information in the signal I turn the delay on we now have some nice stereo signal it's kind of like we doubled the sound and it's using this offset of delay that you would use with like guitars or vocals or where you have cop where you maybe copy paste a track and you want it to sound wider and you offset one with a, with like a sample delay. That's kind of what we're trying to do here with this delay and it's working quite well. So I would set the dry wet lower for this personally and then I'd have this. As opposed to it's just a little bit wider, and it's something you can do to taste. You'll also notice the phase doesn't get too crazy as well. So that's a lot more stereo signal. And the phase is still pinged up near positive 1, which is a great thing. So let's look at this same trick or same idea on a, another sound. So here is like a super saw-ish type sound. All right, so let's turn on this delay now and listen. All right, so with this one, it's a louder sound, and it already is wider because I do have seven voices of unison and unisono, and I am spreading it out a little bit in the stereo field. But if I turn that off, you can still hear the effect of this delay. So this actually helps for if maybe you're trying to get a really huge, lush, 
super saw, hyper saw type sound, and it's just not working with the pan position, it's not working with detuning, it's not working with a lot of other tips and tricks that I've covered a bunch with creating those types of sound, you can try using this delay to spread it out. So this works really nicely with pads and pl uh, plucks, leads, basses, whatever it may be. Now, I haven't really touched on how you actually set it up. It's really quite simple, which is why I saved this for last. The dry wet, you don't want past halfway. Otherwise, it's going to be a perceivable delay, and you don't want that. You don't want the ear to actually think that this is a delayed signal. So if I crank this dry wet up, not only do you kill the phase of the sound, it's just, it's just too much. So dry wet, usually below 50%, damp around 50%. Because that gets the effect through, it makes it perceivable to the ear. And then time left, time right, that depends on the sound source. You can do more time left, more time right. That might be dependent on how you're panning the specific sound in your mix. But you typically don't want them up around halfway. A little bit lower than halfway will usually do it. See, if, it, if I turn the dry wet up and time left, up and right, and I hit a key, I'll hit it really loud so you can hear. There's actually a delay now. We can actually hear the, a delayed effect. We don't want that. So time left and time right. I would say anywhere from about 20% on down, dry wet, under 50%. And you get a nice wide signal. All right, guys, that is the tip and trick for doubling sounds in Massive. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Again, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.